Welcome back to Thursday Coffee Talk. Good morning. Nice to see you. I got my creatine in there. I got some MCTs. I put a little butter in just for flavoring. I kind of like that these days. In a minute, I'm going to take my Nootropic. That'll be good for my brain health. And I think it's going to be a good day. Um, this guy got all butt hurt at me the other day for my tiny assertion during my last video about Gen X and how I said somewhere along the way that we were the greatest generation. And he was all, Gen X wasn't the greatest generation, the greatest generation was the greatest generation. And I was laughing at that because the guy's a boomer. He wasn't even talking about his own damn generation. And listen, they were okay. They were fine. The greatest generation, they're all right. But I'll tell you who made the difference. I'll tell you who really, really changed the world. It was Gen X. I'm gonna give you three examples of why Gen X, and I can go on and on, by the way, was the very greatest generation. Let's just start with the haircut, right? That beautiful haircut that was super, don't laugh at me, short on the top and long in the back. You know why it was long in the back? It was because our parents told us you shouldn't have long hair. You can't have long hair. That makes you a long-haired hippie. That makes you a slacker. You can't do that. And we were like, done. Doing it. Sealed. And then the thing about that is there were also people on earth at the time that had long hair. And the way that they would approach it was like, everybody should have long hair, man. Right? Those hippies. And we're like, nah. And so we shaved it off the top. And so our haircut alone was like a double fuck you to both generations, to all people. That's how badass Gen X was. Gen X didn't care. I'll tell you the other thing I'm super proud of. It was the music, several parts of the music. But when we were growing up, we believed in the very personage of the devil. The devil himself was thought to be able to crawl inside of you, make your head spin round and round, spew green, spew them out, and then do backflips up and down the stairs. Do you remember that? Do you remember that that guy could get inside of you? And what was his major modus of operandi? How could he get inside of you the fastest? That's right, the music. Specifically, like ACDC, Quiet Riot, Twisted Sister. They had hearings on the hill, on Capitol Hill, to say, what do we got to do to get rid of that music? Because it's going to poison their brains. And then the devil, my God, the devil will get inside of them, Right? They told us not to listen to it. They told us it would literally change you. And what was our response to it? What did we do, Gen X? We rocked the fuck out. That's right. Turn it up in the words of Leonard Skinner. Right? The music. Speaking of the music. We used the music to show our humanity. We did. Think about our response to homosexuality. We were the very first generation to go, meh, that's not as bad as they were saying. Do you remember what they said? Do you remember what they said about homosexuality? And thank God this has changed, but this is what they said. The people who taught us, taught us that homosexuality wasn't just bad. It wasn't just a sin, it was a perversion. It was a perversion. And that if you caught the gay, and do you remember? They told us you could catch the gay. If you listen to that music, Depeche Mode, to The Cure, to any of it, you were going to catch the gay. And when you do, when you caught it, because of course it was contagious, you were going to become a pervert. And that meant you were going to do bad things to children, bad things to the same sex and the opposite sex, and probably animals. My God, the shit you'd do to the animals. And we believed, because we didn't know. You couldn't just go to the internet and type up on the internet, hey, is, is really that, is it contagious? They taught us that it was, and we had to believe. Why, who are we not to believe, right? And let me ask you what our response to becoming perverts was. Do you remember Gen X? Yeah. Yeah, we said this. We are like, I don't believe it and I'm gonna listen to it anyway. We had nothing we could look up, but we decided, listen, that is okay. 
as it should be. And you guys are wrong. I love that about Gen Hacks. And that was a really, really big thing and something that I'm very proud of because I think that it started in the 80s. We were listening to Boy George, right? What did we do when they told us not to listen to The Cure? We pegged our pants, we threw our beautiful hair over our, our, our acid wash jackets, and we rocked the fuck out. Proud of us. We did that. We did that unabated, unaided just did it because it was right. We made decisions because it was right and they felt right. So I'm pretty damn proud of Gen X. I can keep going and keep going, but I want to hear your thoughts. Was Gen X the greatest generation? I think it was. I think we started it. I think we got the ball rolling and I think we did it against the grain. Um, what else you got? What other things do you remember the Gen X did? I got a ton of them. The question becomes, Gen X, what the hell happened to you? Where'd you go? They call us the flyover states of generations. We got millennials making a difference on one coast. We got the boomers who already made their difference on the other coast. And we just don't exist. I'll tell you why we don't. It's because we don't like anything. We don't share anything. We don't create content for anybody. And we're just absent in the conversation today. And I think they need us now more than they ever, ever did. So my challenge to you, like something, share something. And if anything stimulate the uh, thought in you today, write it down below.